And the other thing I think that maybe founders don't always recognize, certainly I didn't, I didn't even recognize this when I was in the venture industry initially as an associate, eventually I became a partner and I started understanding more and more about how venture firms actually operate. Um, but just how much of uh, venture activity uh, is and continues to be driven by fund side decision making, um, when a fund is raising, what they want to do with their marks to market and things like that. And I think that that is often, uh, that often puts companies in conflict with their, uh, with their investors. Um, and I think investors often believe that sort of what's good for them is good for companies. And that's, that's sometimes not the case. I just had a conversation with one of our partner funds. I'm not going to out them or the company, but, um, he was describing, um, a company vote that was coming up. I was asking my opinion for how to handle it. And some of the late stage and value kind of gave me the whole lay of the land. And some of the late stage investors were clearly like very clearly acting in their own interest as board members, right? I mean, it's, as an investor, you can do whatever you want. You can act in your best interest and, and you should expect your investors to ultimately act in, in their own best interest. Um, but as board members, I didn't, and I gave, gave this, this uh, partner fund GP some, some questions to ask in the board meeting to try to sort of, you know, make sure that people understood that he was watching. He's a board member in this case too, uh, but he was paying attention to the fact that um, they were potentially making decisions that were really not in the best interest of, of shareholders and not as fiduciaries of the company. So that's just one one example of it. But I that to me, the, like those are kind of some of the you asked that you know sort of what are the hidden secrets of of venture.